last time we were in my dining room, I was working on adding some trim around the openings to create a cased opening. But this time I'm gonna use trim in a different way. I'm gonna create a frame on this wall as a way to fill up all the white space, but also to display some of my grandmother's utensils. But I'm not just gonna do a plain square. It's gonna look something like this. So here are the tools and materials needed for this project. A pre-cut sheet of half inch plywood, a miter saw, a tape measure, a brad nailer with air compressor, 5 8 inch brad nails, 1 inch brad nails, Wayne Scott cap rail, wood glue, spray paint, scissors, spray adhesive, a smoothing tool like this plastic drywall knife, picture hanging wire, and fabric. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut a notch out of each corner of my plywood. That way it gives it a little interest and makes it look a lot more fun than a store-bought frame would look. So I'm going to use my jigsaw for that. This part is easy. Mark two inches from each side on all four corners. Then just cut them out. Oh wow, I'm really liking this already. Now I just need to measure and cut for my trim. My trim measurements are 30 inches for the two longest sides, 20 and a half inches for the shorter sides, and of course, the two inches on the inside of each corner. When I take the measurement to cut the trim, I actually need to subtract half an inch, and that's because my trim has a quarter inch reveal on it. So I have quarter inch over here, quarter inch over here, and that's where I get the half inch. Now if I was just making square cuts, the reveal on the back of the trim wouldn't affect the length, but I'm going to miter each cut at 45 degrees, so that's where using inset material like this trim can be a little bit tricky. As an example, the longest measurement I took, 30 inches, will now become 29 and a half because of the trim's inset. All right, so now I'm ready to assemble my trim, and I'm gonna do that around the plywood, but I'm not going to attach it to the plywood just yet. It'll help hold the smaller pieces in place as I'm using my nail gun, so let's do this. Glue and nail each piece together from the sides, and make sure you use small enough nails that they won't poke through. I'm using one inch brad nails. If you have a stapler handy, it also helps to reinforce each corner from the back. Now that the frame is assembled, I'm ready to cover it with some shiny gold paint. And I have something else to do with the plywood in just a second. While the paint on my frame dries, I'm going to get started on attaching this fabric to my plywood background. That way, when I put my wooden utensils on top, It'll really stand out against the pop of color and against my white dining room walls. Spray adhesive works great to hold lightweight fabric and solid flat objects like this plywood together. The adhesive tacks up fast though, so it's best to divide up your work. Here I'm placing the fabric onto the plywood and working one side at a time, and quickly smoothing out any wrinkles before it's too late. The frame is going to be covering the edge of the fabric on the plywood. I don't have to be too precise when I'm trimming it up, so I'm going to get started on that now. Now that the paint is dry, I'm ready to put this all together. I'm really excited how the gold turned out on this frame, but now to attach it to the plywood, I'm going to turn everything face down and attach it through the back. That way I don't have any nail holes to putty. Using 5 8 inch brad nails, I'm nailing every few inches into the frame at an angle. All right, so I'm gonna use this wire to hang the whole shebang up on the wall, so I wanna make it easy to make it level on the wall. So that's literally the worst, when you hang something on the wall and it won't stay level. This is really fun since these used to hang in my grandmother's dining room. Now they get to hang in my dining room. Measure twice, nail once. I'm spacing the utensils out evenly before hammering in finish nails to hold them in place. All right, I have one more screw to put in my dining room wall and this project will be complete. Now it's time to hang it. I love creating or finding new ways to incorporate old things into my home. And I hope this inspires you to do the same in your own home. Thanks for checking in.
got so many projects to share with you, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next episode.